Hi, my name is Tim Burton, down the hole hammer field technician. Today we're going to go through the disassembly process of an M6 hammer. So after breaking our back head on, on the bench with the safety cage in place, we're ready to disassemble our hammer. So the first piece to come off our M6 will be the back head, and also coming out with that should be the check valve, the check valve spring, and the spring assembly. So in our back head, we have the check valve assembly. We have the check valve assembly, the check valve spring, and the check valve. The next piece is going to be the control tube assembly. You may have some issues with this, and you may have to take a small bar and tap it out. So you'll have the control tube assembly with the buffers, upper and lower buffers, and also the compression cone. Next piece to come out will be the, the covers, and those, those two will have to be tapped out. And that, that would be your cover. So now we're moving to the bottom end of the M6 for disassembly. The first part would be the chuck. A new hammer out of the box will have paint that could stick the chuck, and you may just have to tap on the chuck a little bit to break that friction. So we have the chuck. Next would be the retaining ring. Next would be the bit bearing. So you, you may have to take a small bar and tap the bit bearing from the back head side to dislodge it. Last piece to come out is the piston. You're probably going to have to use a small bar to start the piston out of the hammer. Once you've got it out, if you pull it out, you may have to wiggle it a little. It has a small end, and you have to clear the undercuts of the barrel. And there you have your piston, and that is completes the disassembly process of the M6. Now we're ready to reassemble our M6 hammer. The first piece that goes in would be the bit bearing. The bit bearing goes in with the elongated slot toward the bit. The next piece would be bit retaining rings and the chuck. If you were installing the bit, the chuck would be installed over the bit with the retaining rings snap, snapped on. And that completes the bottom end of the M6 reassembly. So now we're ready to reassemble the, the top end of our M6 hammer. The first piece to go in would be the piston. The, lo the lock ring. You may have to use some extra force to press this ring. After the lock ring, the cover would be the next piece.
the compression cone. The control tube with the buffers installed. The valve assembly, the valve spring, and the check valve were assembled and installed into the back head. And then the back head is threaded on to the hammer casing. During re reassembly of the M6 components, you want to make sure that rock drill oil is applied to all internal components. The thread grease is applied to both the chuck and the back head threads, and that the back head and the chuck are torched prior to drilling. For more information on the assembly and disassembly of the M6 hammer, please refer to your hammer manual, service center, or dealer.